for randomly five years. came to the conclusion that it would be hilarious to convince as many people throughout our lives as possible that she is obsessed with feet. <laughs> Welcome to episode 7 of Booty and Banter. I'm Julian Donaldson. This is my beautiful wife. Brittany Donaldson. And uh, yeah, rolling into episode 7. I've been uh, out for the last two episodes. We had the wonderful hair and makeup artist Tiffany and then the uh, local business owner slash... Um, BFF. BFF slash <laughs> overly utilized model Tia. <laughs> um, we yeah. should throw some of that up. Throw some what up? Uh, pictures of Tia from the beginning to the end. Oh, like a progression? Yeah. Well, you said there How were cool would that be? there were eight shots? Yeah. So, yeah, well, I mean, let's go through your favorites. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you guys can't count, so we'll say nine. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's now, fair. <laughs> that being said, uh, future, we want to have a segment where we interact with uh, videos or questions, comments, uh, curiosities, like, you know, what is that thing? Yeah, right there. Um, so, if you have any of those things, uh, we have bootybanter at gmail.com, and uh, eventually we'd like to have some, some back and forwards there, and, and eventually uh, hone in on our favorites that we, we interact with on a almost weekly basis, and... Uh, Moving forward, that'll that'll be a thing. So we're just going to keep mentioning it every episode until uh, people start sending us weird and interesting and curious things. Uh, if it's not apparent at this point, uh, we may have started uh, day drinking a little bit earlier. It was nice and sunny out, and uh, we took the boys outside, and we were playing out in the sun, and uh, it, it, it flows. You know, it, it's summer. I, uh, but day drinking is, like, my favorite. Truth. During the summer. During the summer. I drink so much more during the summer, unfortunately. Which is funny because I um, feel like I'm the heavier drinker, but you're the more uh, casual drinker. That for me, if I have a drink or two in the day, it's it's f nap time. It's not. It's not. Uh, yeah, let's let's go get some food and hang out and stuff. I'm like, no. Yeah, I had I had two drinks. I'm, I'm taking a nap, uh, or I'm drinking more, and that's. There's not really any any gray area for me on that. Well, but I, I didn't have my first drink until three. That's true. What time is it now? We're sitting on local nine twenty-two. Um, yeah. <laughs> sleeping though. Well, one of one of them sleeping. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So drinks and then a, a shot right before we started. And, yeah, the old the old Jaeger, as we we talked about in a previous episode. Uh, if you can tell. Uh, those those of you that are returning from previous episodes, uh, I have uh, tweaked our webcam settings and uh, hopefully our sound settings. Uh, I guess we'll see there. But uh, I know that the video is better. Um, <laughs> so much so that there are certain things that are going to bug me this whole episode. And I'm going to point them out to you guys so they can bug you too. Uh, <coughs> Shut up, because nobody would have saw that. Until you pointed it out. Yeah, that's why I, I still said, don't see now it. it's going to bug them, too. But... Look at that crack. I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking you, at the crack. It's right there. I'm right there. looking see, at the fucking crack. I see the cracks. Anywho. Uh, so, in previous episodes, we've talked about the shoot and share competition, where uh, I believe it was... I think that the final country count on this one was, like, 59 this year. God. I don't yeah, remember. I think it was 59 countries and, like... Something ludicrous, like 900,000 photos or something like that. Well, yeah. It was, it was, it was a ludicrous amount. And um, we, were, we were all excited. There's, uh, there's 12 rounds that are, are shimmying down to the, the upper echelon, lower percentages. And uh, we, uh, after the 12th round, before they started announcing the best of the best, uh, they started marking photos of best of the best. And... Uh, there's 25 categories, and best of the best is the top 100 photos in each one. So it's not even percentage-based at that point. It's just the top 100. There could be 200,000 pictures in that. Best of the best is only the top 100. Yeah, but... Okay. A little snafu. Um, 
So I'm driving and I get a text message text message that's like, holy F. Um, and that was it. And then I get a phone call. <laughs> it was like, I can't wait. Like, I have to tell you. Actually, no. Backtrack. Backtrack. Best of the best. They decided originally that they weren't going to put birth or boudoir in the best of the best. Which, as you can imagine, majorly affects. <laughs> Considering all Hello. 50 entries or <laughs> boudoir entries. <laughs> but, like... They, they made a big stink of it last year, and that's why we weren't able Meh. to even... We don't want to see butts. Meh. Yeah. And so they weren't even going to, like, put boudoir or birth in the best of the best. So... To be fair, in previous years, there's been a couple childbirths where it's like, I think that's awesome. I love everything about it. There were some that were very innerly personal. Yeah, so but that having that's, the having the option, I think, is fair. I think throwing a fit about it's you know whatever because every, yeah. everybody had the option to hide two categories. So two of the twenty five categories, if you're like pets are dumb, meh, you can hide all the pets, uh, or if you hate butts, or if you you know X Y or Z is creative. There's, I there's normally all sorts of... would like block out two of the wedding categories just because because it was ultimately. Boring. Four or five wedding categories, right? There's like seven or ten or fifteen Jesus. wedding categories. Okay. Yeah, so, wow. I didn't, I didn't realize it was that offset. Yeah, because <coughs> there's so many things that comes with a wedding. So Bride, groom, wedding. Yeah, no, I get you. And then a details, lot of the times, wedding uh, details, in, in other bridal ones, parties. there'll be macro photos with the engagement and wedding ring or both engagement rings or yeah. whatever. So you see, you see, even if there's, you know, uh, however many wedding uh, categories there are, you see a lot of wedding related stuff, which with photography, you know, it's, a, it's an important point in people's lives. But from the perspective of a photographer, uh, it's abundant. And there's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> so much. And then even, um, even the ones that you hide at the end, um, they break down the top 20 into a video <laughs> montage. And uh, this year they did about four every day. Um, and it was uh, just just a, a they drop maybe every two to three hours they drop a video that shows uh, that that number that ranking of all twenty five categories. So even if you had them hidden, uh, you're you're gonna see them at that point. So no matter what, you see the top twenty. Um, people were still bitching, like people people will always bitch. <laughs> They're like, oh, I was, it was so amazing, and I was watching this with my kid, and... My six-year-old. The boudoir, but, sorry to interrupt, but a quick interjection. Uh, the boudoir category is called boudoir, and then in parentheses, it says PG-13. Yeah. Every person to... that was voting saw that every time that it popped up. Yeah. So they're like, I saw a kid smiling, and then my six-year-old saw it, but... So, <laughs> we have four boys. <laughs> Okay, and every single one of them know exactly what we do for a living. Um, I oh, think I ball. remember the first time that Jace, I think he was two. <laughs> I think the, he was two. In the middle print? And no, I was editing in the living room in Virginia. Uh, oh, that's right. And he comes running around. You were gone. I, I just you are, you're telling me or whatever. what he said. And he comes <laughs> running around. Um, into the living room because that's where I would edit because our TV was also our computer was also my like office um, and he's like oh, mom butt and I was like yeah baby that's a butt like okay laundry clad <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <coughs> but to this day I think it I think it's really done them a service like. Well, I feel like I feel like there's, I think there's an unhealthy level of desensitization, but I think there's also a unhealthy level of um, shelter. Over. Yeah, yeah. Because and it's one of those things that like you know me me having a, a navy background and generally just being a fucking loud swearing individual, uh, we do not uh, we don't talk any different around our children. Uh, they they know. What they are allowed to say, what they aren't allowed to say. Yeah, Jace on a daily basis is like, I'll say something. Dad, I can't say that, can I? And Am I allowed to say that? And, and it's like, it's like, most when of the time it's I either yes that? or no. And if it's not yes or no, it's 
at home but not at daycare. <laughs> <laughs> or or <laughs> only at home. Yeah. And uh, and he honors it. He, he understands like that's it's the same thing as is you know adult drinks. If we have an adult drink, he's like, is that an adult drink? And I'm like, no. Like if it's an energy drink or something, and he's like, can I try it? I'm like, no. He's like, why? Like, There's so much caffeine in that. You can bounce off the freaking walls and then have a heart attack and die in front of me. Like I'm not gonna let you drink energy drink. You're fucked. But that's even like Brady and Landon because they were allowed to swear <laughs> in the home. Yeah. But not outside the home, and they knew that. But it was only swearing under good context. Like, if you uh, stub your toe, and that <clears throat> hurts like a motherfucker, and you say something, that's fine. You know? No. Or if it made, like, it just gave whatever you were saying so much more, that was fine. But it wasn't like, you don't go around and say, F, 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 F. <laughs> like... No, no, that being that said... That wasn't allowed. The, the swearing, um, you know, alcoholic drinks, all, all the things that are, are clearly yeses, clearly noes, uh, when it comes to things like, like Britney editing, um, when it comes to a gal in a, in a, in a bra and panties, or uh, be that as it may, like any, any direction of, of normal boudoir, um, it's, it's, it's normal. It's nothing more than what you see at the beach. Now, if um, if it was full on nudity at that point, the sexualization I think is is unwarranted and uh, it's, it's not necessary. There's no reason to to know that at that age. No. So seeing seeing a butt is seeing a butt. Like whoop you do. Everybody's gonna see a butt. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> <clears throat> but um yeah no. So yeah, we parent in our in our own particular way, and uh, we don't give a damn what anybody else thinks. But I think it's really important that. All the boys know what we do for a living and what we stand for. And that at that point, they look at other women differently. Yeah. And I think that, like, that just, like, chills my soul. <laughs> I well, want it, them it's, it's also... to understand and realize that, like, every body is beautiful. Just because a girl might have a couple extra pounds doesn't mean she, she isn't the one for you. Mm. And that she couldn't take care of you and is like the most loving, caring, amazing person you will ever meet. Yeah, absolutely. That means nothing. So I think if anything, having four boys, like what we do is helps guide them in an even better direction well, yeah. of what it, well, they, and, and, and they potentially want to look for in a mate. Thinking, thinking, uh, teaching, teaching women to love themselves and teaching men to respect and love women, um, you know, they're going to have multiple girlfriends. They're going to be oh, able to yeah. impart that. And it, it's the same thing as um, that goes hand in hand of them being able to see uh, the editing process or the end result or um, any other semblance of, of what we do. And uh, be able to respect it and be able to, to honor it, but also how we interact in the home. That we're not, you know, I'm not grotesque or, or rude to Brittany or, um, I mean, I fuck with her all the time. But that's, that's like, you know, even that in itself is, is playful <laughs> and, you know, holding the door, having manners. Like being, being a, 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 a well-taught, uh, relatively independent, the hope. Uh, young man is is super important. So my client today even said when she found out that I had four boys, she's like, "Oh, so that's why you do this? So you get to play dress up?" <laughs> and I was like, "Do you know how many times I've said that?" <laughs> like, I'm like, "I have four boys, so this is my one and only chance to like play dress up, and I don't get to do it with just like children. I get to do it with women of." all ages mm -hmm. and they come to me and they're like i don't know what to wear and i'm like girl i got you <laughs> like, ages size awesome. shapes wisdom story stress oh. yeah yeah i'll yes. be above i'll be above uh all right uh so recently we've gone on a, on a, a pretty fucking crazy campaign of uh trying to tie everything together and um and reach out and um Really, just interact with as many people as possible, and um, uh, never thought it. Never thought either of us would be uh, invested in the slightest. But we have Twitter now, and we have Instagram now. <laughs> We've had Instagram 
for a while. I'm going to put a doo-doo picture there from when you were managing Instagram. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're back with drinks. Uh, let's let's pick talks. <clears throat> form is massive. I know. Do you know how many times I did this? <laughs> but, oh my god. So the amount of times that um, Alex was here and she's like, okay, you gotta do this. And I was like, oh. Like this. So, like, <laughs> Just like that this. though, right? <laughs> but I knew it exactly because the stance was everything I do like to get my woman to get that curve yeah. in their back. Yeah. And I was like. Belly button on the floor. Oh. <laughs> well, I no, say whatever would be for tilt for your each. hips down, but yeah, <laughs> pelvis down. Yeah, but um, so all of those, and then even when she was teaching me how to do the deadlift, mm. she's like, "Oh my God, you're so much more flexible than I thought you would be." <laughs> <laughs> but you remember when we first started working out? My my butt out, shoulders back. Oh yeah, no belly button to the ground, that stance, and yeah. I, was, I was like, "Hey, butt out." <laughs> yep. But no, I, I thought the, the the parallel between uh, us us hitting the gym a little bit more and uh, and you posing gals and in the have, studio. We have my um uh my belt that holds my camera. I have to make it tighter now, so that means something's working. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to my second... Oh, God. Oh, God. No, why Why would you say that? Why would you preface it like that? What do you mean? Why would you do that? It's just interesting. Yeah. Why? Hi, Grandma. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I please be that, Grandma? <laughs> Can I please... Like, I want my grandkids to feel that comfortable with me. Uh, that, that was one that, like, I, when I first saw it, I was like, I was like, I, I know that grandma from somewhere. Where do I know her from? And uh, I've seen a, a bunch of videos of her on multiple platforms being hilarious. And she's washing her hands. But, yeah, when, when I first saw the, the gal in the fridge with the yoga pants, I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> no. I want to be that. I want. So I was. You want to get farted I'm, on by, like, 20-year-olds when you're, like, 80? My grandma would have loved it, okay? Getting farted on? Because she would have thought it was funny, and she would have played along. She would, Well, actually, she probably would have been like, Ah, oh, Brittany, why would you do that? But she still would have, like, smacked my this butt This is something... Anyways. We've been together for a long time now. Mm. And I have a very, very small family. And I married into not that. <laughs> <laughs> and the more of our family I meet, the more I'm like... We I believe her. I believe every second of what you just said. We're crazy, uh, but we're fun crazy. Fun crazy. Um, <laughs> but my grandma was very crazy, and she would. Do you talk think to she herself. was not fun crazy? Oh, you she was fart, so fun crazy. You want to fart on your not fun <laughs> crazy she grandma? Have. And I want my grandkids to be comfortable enough to fart on me. Okay. It's a strange goal to be had. Well, I almost dead like Jace the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Brady, He's five. Brady just turned 14, and I'm having, like, a midlife crisis because My 14-year-old doesn't want to fart on me. <laughs> no, I want him to think it's funny to fart on me, okay? Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go for, for yours. I don't know what this is. Oh, my God. Trash can! <laughs> <laughs> the trash can! <laughs> But did you this see is, how fucking... This is a very <laughs> most <laughs> accidentally <laughs> disgusting... <laughs> Anybody... Any... <laughs> I apologize to anyone that's not a fan of uh, farts, or, farts or pukes. Holy shit. So, yeah. Morning. Uh, <laughs> There it is. <laughs> um, 
But I've seen that. Story. I've had to clean that up so many f-ing times. Uh, Being Julian, landlord of that house. Julian thinks it's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> like the uh, gross things he thinks is hilarious. I I think with me it's very specifically the the people that aren't expecting it. With that guy, I feel like everybody in the room expected that to happen. Yeah, but he had the trash can next to him. Yeah, okay, so he's an still asshole. Shouldn't have happened. The drunk asshole. But because of that, because of that, like your mentality on all of that made me like when Jace was born, it was like it made me feel like the most natural, normal thing that I've ever experienced in my life. And I had never experienced that before. And I had two kids before that. What part of it? You mean me being there? And just how you responded to it. (laughs) And, like, uh, Jace was born, thrown up on my chest. And then, and, like, like legs spread out. Everything was gushing. And he just, like, picked up the the little thing and scooted me over and he climbed to bed with me. Like, this is no big deal. I, I, and when I said I had to go to the bathroom, you're like, cool, I'm going to follow you with this pad (laughs) and I'm going to hold it around you as like blood's dripping out and it's totally fine. Like you made it feel like it was nothing (laughs) because like the gross things to you are nothing. It's just just the serious gross things are awesome. Yeah. But the funny gross things are fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Unless it's squish uh, fucking projectile vomiting. Holy f***. She got to see me dry heave for the first time. Uh, I did. Oh, my, oh God. my God. And I even said that. I was like, I well, pride, that was a first. I pride myself on my stomach. <laughs> and uh, if you're this far in the video, then you've already seen the, the granny farts and fucking fat guy vomits. <laughs> So, uh, our not quite two year old, uh, I don't know if it was motion time. sickness at the time, yeah. Um, I don't know if it was motion sickness or he ate something bad or he just, uh, I have no idea. But uh, it was the most violent, aggressive, voluminous uh, puke I have ever seen from like a tiny human ever. And, uh, and normally, I have a super strong stomach. Now, granted, I was a little hungover that day, because that tends to happen. But um, uh, it, regardless, I'm usually fine. But uh, I scooped him out. I wiped him down. I, I you know, I, I, well, I stripped kinda... him down and then handed him to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I went to clean out the seat while she was changing him so that we could get back on the road. And uh, it was, there was, there was so much. And uh, there was just something about... Uh, the, the the acidity and the smell and how much of it there was and like I was trying to like it's like you, you think like somebody a baby spit up you you wipe it up right this was like I, I, I was shoveling it was not good it was not good and the scent was terrible and the the consistency but the temperature not- and the volume everything about it was just like in the hangover of years. the amount of years oh, she's like, watching me clean up awful things you that like you thrive on people puking. Yeah, f- people all the time. And like the dirty things that everybody else is like gagging over, <laughs> and you're laughing about. So I'm I'm right, on the other side of the car. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm on the other side of the car, and I have squish in the pat or er, the passenger seat. And I'm trying to like wipe him down and change his diaper and. Get everything going. All I hear is this. Yeah, it wasn't like a casual like. It wasn't like keeping something back. It was like, Full like clean, like, clean, clean. I'm gonna f-ing vomit. And I was like. <laughs> and I said, it took she, like, me. She like stood a up. I saw her over the top of the car, which I never do. <laughs> Short show. She's five one. And uh, six two. <laughs> All I can think of, and I even said it. I was like, "That is the first time." She was wide-eyed. She's like, did you just try? <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that. And I was like, "That is amazing." Not amazing. <laughs> because it wasn't amazing. It was because we <clears throat> found something that even curdles his stomach. See, that's and, the thing. Uh, that, like being landlord of that house, uh, and like having a general caring about the well-being of humans. <laughs> <laughs> I've cleaned more vomit than I would like to admit. 
Yeah. There was just something about the conditions were perfect. <laughs> it was, it was but that's what I said. I was like, I don't think I've ever heard that before. <laughs> All right. It was amazing. Ready for last one around one? Oh, yeah. All right. Babe. My sister's Babe. a foot model. Babe. Your feet are looking nice right now. Go figure you'd pick this Babe. one. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't even Babe. think about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Babe. you picked it for a reason. Well, no, because... You I like her feet? No, Babe. you can make money off Babe. anything. No. Thank Baby? No. Babu? She likes feet. Babu? <laughs> what did you think Her that I would think from that? Right now, I don't know because her girlfriend was like, "Hey, that was your sister." Okay, your sister. That's more weird. <laughs> so, okay. so <laughs> since we first started dating, oh my god, I'm not gonna, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna shame anybody out there that has any sort of fetish or kink or whatever it may be, right? Everybody's got their own game, and so long as you find somebody that wants to play it with you, I'm happy for you. Uh, I mean, so long as you're not, you know, hurting people and stuff like that, of course. But uh, from from early in our in our dating phase, uh, I, I don't even remember how it started, but I like... I don't either. I mentioned earlier in this video, I like f***ing with my wife. And, uh... <clears throat> I uh, thing just randomly years. came to the conclusion that it would be hilarious to convince as many people throughout our lives as possible that she is obsessed with feet. Oh my god, and how many have you? Oh god, the, there's probably hundreds of people yeah. on this planet right now that, that are 100% convinced. 100% conviction. That I'm obsessed with feet, but I'm not, okay? <laughs> I... <laughs> See, and the funny thing is, this is the one. Feet problems. This is the one place where I can say that, and anybody watching this or backtracking to watch this is gonna shit on you for loving feet. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't love feet. She loves them so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. But that was funny. But that was why I put it in there. I, it's like I don't know how you could grab model. that video and not expect me to jump on it. I mean, I kind of did, but I think that's maybe, maybe that's why. But I do think it was funny. She's a foot model. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, so moving on, uh, we uh, <clears throat> I think we mentioned it episode would have before now uh, that we were we were rolling through the carnivore diet. And uh, it was an experience. I think the uh, the first week sucked for me. The first two weeks. Two and a half? Two, two, and, two a half. and a half? Yeah, two and a half <laughs> weeks sucked for her. Um, because uh, the, the big thing is uh, she's a she's a stickler for variety. Being able to, to, you know, have nuances to your diet where it's not the same thing ever and over and over again. And that was we had, snacker. We had so many steaks, pork chops, and eggs. Now she she's every time I say eggs she's just like, Whoa. but um we did it for a month. Um, she super beats herself up because she didn't see a lot of deflection on the scale. But I look at her all the time because I'm like obsessed. But uh, I noticed uh, uh, shapely changes that um, there was there was a lot of of body shift. There was a lot of. Um, um, just, just ultimately, uh, fat for muscle. Major, major protein intake, uh, minor fat intake. If, if she was at a caloric deficit, and literally, if, if you have a surplus of protein and you're just walking around, protein weighs sig or sorry, muscle weighs significantly more than anything but bone. Um, so she was beating herself up over the scale, and I was enamored. Um, I. <laughs> I don't know where you're going, where where this is going. No, I was just going go, go with the back and forward. I um, I I would I had a little bit of no. I'm talking about me. You're fine. What did you think I was gonna say? I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, I uh, for the first time in fucking my whole life, I was starting to work out a little teeny pooch, and she threw me a bunch of shit about it, 
and some love I handles. Did not. Yeah, you no, you I threw said, shit I about me saying pooch. that I had a little bit of a pooch and some love <sighs> handles. She's like, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm exactly. Like, okay. okay. Well, what you think about my body and what I think about my body aren't the same fucking thing. So it bugs me, and I want to get rid of it. Okay. So I started but. at two fourteen and a half, and I shrugged down to one ninety three. Seven twenty one and a half pounds in a month, and my goal was to shed. What? I'm saying I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to shed fat and then go to a. Um, a high protein, uh, high carb diet, and start working out a bunch more. So, we have been working out significantly more. And now, uh, we, we rolled out of the carnivore diet, and Britt started having. So, <coughs> backtrack. I was having some crazy mental um, issues. That affected pretty much everything we did. And then I was having, um, like, blackout moments where I wouldn't remember anything. Um, and then it led into... Like, absent-minded tasks. Yeah. Things like, things that you, you do on a I, daily basis. She would start it and then finish it. Be like... But I that's, couldn't remember. That's not right. So, yeah, muscle memory took place mm -hmm. in between those. And then... Um, Backtrack to why we started the carnivore diet initially. Yeah. And um, I would wake up every morning, no matter how much I slept, I felt exhausted. And um, I could, but I couldn't sleep on top of it. So I'm exhausted. I can't sleep. Um what the hell's going on, you know, um, the only, and I also started getting extremely nauseous to the point where it made me feel like I was pregnant all over again. <laughs> things were off. But, yeah. Things were, things were no. physically, mentally, hormonally, something was off. Yeah. And so, so we, we figured it's soft. Well, I wouldn't say soft. I would say a, a, a firm reset. A firm reset. <laughs> it wasn't a hard reset, but I, I guess so, it wasn't soft. Um, we experimented with the uh, carnivore diet, and how long? Maybe hmm. a week and a half, two weeks. Before you started feeling better. Normal. No, I think I think it took about two and a half weeks. It wasn't until. We were coming up on um, one week left because I remember um, we were a day or two into the second or into the third week, and you were like, "Nothing's changed." You're like, "I'm not losing weight," and I was like, "Yeah, but you're you're changing." And you're like, "Yeah, but I'm still <laughs> but I'm still I'm irritable. I'm still tired. I'm still <laughs> foggy." Um, at that point, the, the 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 quick minor tasks kind of just going away. That that stopped but happening. I think I think the big like the big things even slowly diminished and I wasn't aware of them mm -hmm. until like that point. Yeah, about, but, two, about two and a um, half weeks. It <coughs> took oh man, I'm gonna get like emotional. <laughs> um but it was before that, like I was I was having a hard time like focusing or Focusing on my clients or remembering the name of my client the second that she left. And that has never been me because I am very no. much so like personable on point. Personable. I, I, I want to be with you. I want to experience this journey with you. Um, and then I realized I was like, okay, we're going to do this. I'm going to try it because what the fuck? <laughs> like, why not? We need something. Or we, we had, I need something. <laughs> and we had tried a few things before. Like, this and, wasn't uh, first knee-jerk. Like, yeah. things are weird. Let's eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> Only meat. <laughs> and uh, so we're like, okay, we're going to do this for a month. And then I remember slowly peeling, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, 
I feel so much more energy and I'm not waking up feeling nauseous. Yeah. And that was a huge part of it because for weeks I was like the only thing, the only thing I ate was Top Ramen or... Uh, Boolean noodles or noodles. your uh, your cheddar ruffles. Yeah. And none of those. High sodium, no protein. Nope. Just. But those are the only things for... Carbs and sodium. Freaking weeks that sounded good to me. And... Which, which I, not to sound unfair, mm-hmm. but um, I think the carnivore diet also did you a justice in the fact that... Um, you are significantly less picky now. I am. And so breaking breaking out of that shell um, but has I parallels think. with uh, Edouard. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, there's there's times where there's things that that you just don't feel like you want to do, and then you realize that it's something that could um, open an eye in a direction that's. Well, it took me... Literally life-changing. <laughs> it literally took me to the point where I was remembering anything. Mm-hmm. I I couldn't get up. I was sleeping all day, every day. You were pretty day. much laying down or working. <clears throat> that was it. She was like, in the studio or <clears throat> my recovering kids. from being in the studio. Yeah, and I mean, don't get me wrong, like I walk around and I squat I get up and I do the things but it's like an hour and a half workout like if you can't go on without your about your day without doing an hour and a half workout um something's off something's seriously um, off and I even I had to cancel um a couple sessions because of it like I woke up in the morning real bad days um, <clears throat> but we're working on it. Um, we did the well, carnivore diet. Let me though, say, yeah. So that was, did, we did the carnivore diet for a month, and, and that was like I felt like myself again mm-hmm. for the first time in so fucking long, and I didn't even realize how long it was and how bad it had gotten. Um. Okay, take over, because I'm just going to start <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, we, we went through through a full month of the carnivore diet, and um, when when we uh, when we hit our 30 days, both of us felt fantastic. Uh, you know, we, we went out, we got a big old platter of sushi, because we, we hadn't been able to, and that started, <laughs> that started like a week out, like, like in the beginning of week three, I was like, last day. Sushi, because uh, my, my time over on the East Coast, um, sushi was, was like the go-to. It was cheap. It was so fresh and delicious. And, uh, yeah, you can you can eat platters and platters and platters of it. Now that we're back up in the Northwest, uh, sushi's not quite as bountiful, fresh, or cheap. <laughs> but regardless, that was like, this is going to be the treat. This is going to be the kudos for making it a month just hork and meat. Um... So we went through all that, and then um, we branched out diets, and we kind of quietly agreed to like a not a cheat week, but a unhindered week. So still, you know, trying to eat relatively healthy, you know. Um, but um, you can pretty much eat whatever you want, you know. Just but the the carbs came back into play with. The, you know, the pastas and the potatoes and... Potatoes fucked you up. Yeah. Well, we realized <clears throat> that pretty quickly on, that the potatoes just... Initially, so, initially I thought it might be a nightshade thing. Um, because I was like, uh, you know, well, potatoes, yeah, but you've had plenty of other carbs. It doesn't seem like that's the issue. And then uh, we experimented for like another week. And uh, tomatoes definitely weren't affecting you. Mm. And they're like, well, potatoes and tomatoes are like the, the, the two big ones. What were the other ones? I didn't know blue, was it blueberries? Blueberries. Blueberries are nightshade. There's a few surprising ones. I looked it up because I was like, if this is the issue, we need to know what it is. <laughs> and uh, we quickly scratched that off the list. And uh, we're like, well, okay, that pasta salad, you didn't have much of it. But it had uh, cherry tomatoes in it. So like, maybe it's just carbs. 
So we rolled through and we mulled over the idea of it. And I was like, well, maybe, you know, try keto. Because it's not carnivore. So you can eat nigh on infinitely more things than you could before. It's just super low carb. How many grams of carbs are you allowed to have a day now? Um, between 19 and 32. 19 and 32. And, oh, yeah, that being said, there's a couple things where I was like, that, it's like a, a half cup of something. <laughs> and it's just egregious. It's like a day and a half worth of, of carbs. Like, Jesus. Um, well, yeah, because no sh- a, an egg, one egg has a carb in it. I thought you said your counter, it was two eggs. Two eggs had a gram. Two eggs had, I guess, one carb. <clears throat> but, but um, the things you don't even think about have carbs in them. But I'm, I'm leaning more and more towards the fact that like it's breads and I wonder if pastas. What throw more and, fiber into your shakes? I'm gonna check that out tomorrow. Um, but today is the first day in a while after getting off the carnivore diet that I've felt like myself. Hence, and, I'll stay drinking before this episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, I even, so, couldn't go to sleep last night, which is a huge, um, <clears throat> was a side effect, and probably still is, of what was going on originally. Um, and then I woke up at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. And then this goddamn spam caller. Oh, my God. Called me I five just times in a fucking row. Got back to sleep. <laughs> I felt so bad. The first time it went off, I thought it was like one of my spurious alarms, and I was like, "Oh god, I'm a huge asshole!" And then I realized it was a call, and I was like, <sighs> "Hung that up." Less than ten seconds later, call back called again. Back. Hung up. Third one, I'm like, "Okay, this is weird." Navy side, I, I've got a whole bunch of buddies' phones that I'm sure you know. I handed out my number to, so I was like, "Maybe, maybe somebody's having a, a hard time." Um, I'll, I'll pick it up. I pick it up, and it sounds like somebody's, like, they slap their phone face down on their, their desk, and they're, like, shuffling stuff around. And I'm like, what the hell? And then, it, and then they hung up. And then they hung up. And so I answered again. Same thing. So then I answered. And so she answered. Right, and no, no, no. After the fourth talking. one, you go, you go, block it. And I was like, I don't want to do that. Well, I answered. Yeah, yeah. So then I handed it to you. I was like, well, then you do it. <laughs> yeah. So I answered, and the guy's like, oh, you won $2. million. $2. And I was like, whatever. And so I hung up, and I hit the block button. He's like, how did you do that? And I was like. I've never blocked anybody before. There's <laughs> legit, like, a block button. <laughs> Well, you, if you just said, well, answer it, and then when you hang it up, you hit the block button. <laughs> I'd have been like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> but I was like, oh, okay. Oh, all right, whatever. It's 6.20 in the morning. My alarm's going to go off in 40 minutes. If I go back to sleep now, I'm going to be even more tired. Yeah. So I got up, and I did all my things, and I have felt so much better today than I have felt in so freaking long. And all I could think of when I was even trying to go to sleep last night and then waking up this morning was, okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to make it through work. And then I'm going to come home and I'm going to take a nap because we have to podcast tonight and uh, I'm I'm just going to be exhausted and a zombie and like, it's not going to be fun. Yeah. But... I think whatever is going on with me hormonally. Um, dietary. Dietary. No, no hor- it's, it's affecting the, the, hormonally, yeah. but I'm saying it's a dietary um, uh, cause. We're we're figuring it out, man. Yep. Like, <laughs> like, I'm finally starting to be myself, and I'm gonna. have more energy and come at you guys like we got this <laughs> <laughs> all right <clears throat> so the snip the snip the snip so we oh, like, uh freshly freshly have a two-year-old freshly 
He's well, he fresh. just turned two. Oh, fresh yeah. two-year-old. Okay. <laughs> if he's born two years old, you'd have a hell of a time. Uh, <laughs> I almost had a hell of a time anyways. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so uh, now we're rolling on 14-year-old, 12-year-old, 5-year-old, 2-year-old. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, the, the concept is, uh, is one of those things that, that being a dad has always been super important to me. Um, um, watching, watching the full growth, and, and I, I feel bad that I missed some of Jace's early, early years, because uh, I was Navy, but uh, with Squish, uh, Nicholas, our two-year-old. Uh, we call him Squish. <laughs> um, being able to be there with him constantly, and, and we were even talking about this earlier today, after um, uh, coming home for the, the you know the, the marketing, the infrastructure, the all the stuff that I do, um, having the ability that uh, you know an hour before my wife gets home, I can take the boys out when it's at the sunniest point of the day and enjoy time outside with them. Uh, I couldn't do that in the Navy. I couldn't do that as a power plant electrician. And now uh, I'm hard pressed to learn all the things that I don't know. <laughs> but um, being able to spend that much more time with the boys is super important. Um, but this is a conversation that's come up between us multiple times, even before I got the STEM, of, uh, uh, you know, Squish is our last one. Like, yeah. The other day I was I was changing a uh, a poopy diaper, and I was like, dude, I am so excited to never have to change a child's diaper again. <laughs> we and you know, there. Be, being being a grandparent, I'm I'm gonna have to do it again. But our own children. <laughs> but I was even laying there, and I was like, are you sad that we're not gonna have any more? His quick to instant answer. response. Quick to answer. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Because I can't help but, like. She I asked know. me I don't to know. get my nuts snipped. Let that be clear on the record. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. That was all on you. Pretty you were sure supposed I've got to a recorded. Your, uh, you were supposed to get your nuts snipped before you came home when we got pregnant with Squish. Because you were going to do it on the ship. Yeah, I was going to have the Navy pay for it. Yeah, before we got pregnant with Squish. Yeah, but I'm glad we did. <laughs> I love that chunky little man. <laughs> um, so, but... But it's one of those hindsight things. Like, at the time, if you're like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know if, if we want to try or not. But, you know... No, you came home. You told me that we were probably done. <laughs> I agreed. I think and I have a safe voicemail. If I can find it, I'm going to overlay it, like, right here. So, because we were talking about it, because I, I, I wanted one more. I really fucking wanted more, one more. Did you want a girl? I fucking did. <laughs> I did. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I wanted a girl. But, uh, and we talked about it, and we agreed that uh, that wasn't going to be a thing. And, uh... Then I called him because I found out I was pregnant again. <laughs> <laughs> You're home for 11 days. <laughs> and I was on the power guard. Yeah. <laughs> FYI. Yeah, they love me known. So you know. <laughs> it's, uh, what do they say? 99% effective? Well, um, it turns out if uh, your wife's super fertile and, uh, you know, and the power guard <laughs> got some super shifts. <laughs> Oh, and yeah. you don't check your Paragard ever. <laughs> yeah, no. I even, I called the, I called the, um, the doctor's office and I was like, hey, so I just got a positive pregnancy test. And they're like, awesome. So we'll expect to see you in four to, four to eight weeks. And I was like, no, I'm on the Paragard. And they're like, oh, Ooh. Let me call you back. <laughs> and they called me back with it. So they hung up. They called me back almost instantly. And they're like, we need you in tomorrow at 8 a.m. Yeah, first thing and I morning. was like, cool. Uh, um, I don't know what this means. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so we go in there. 
I was so early on because I'm a fertile myrtle. For fertile myrtle? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But uh, they um, they couldn't even see a heartbeat or a baby or anything, but they confirmed the positive. Yeah. But they're like, I also see the Paragard, so... I'm going to have to, like... Get rid of that, and uh, there could be some things. Your first call to me, you were like, like I'm pregnant. It's still in. We're all going to die. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? You can't... <laughs> You can't open up like that. I, I didn't say we're all going to die. Yeah. You were like, me and or the baby, definitely not going to make it. <laughs> well, yeah, because the chances of <sighs> crazy. Imagine. Yeah, so I was shitting my pants uh, <laughs> on the uh, hangar bay of my carrier. Uh, like, oh, cool. Well. Everyone's gonna die. This is. <laughs> All right. Uh. Spoilers. None of us died. <laughs> We're all here. Spoilers. Including episode the baby. seven. <laughs> the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> I should I should have waited for this point to put that at the beginning of episode one. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is she talking about? All right, rapid segue. Pause. Pause. I'll take yours. You're okay, so pause. Cool. All right, off pause. So, <clears throat> a new drink and shot later. Two hiccups. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> 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 See, there you go. Once, once she's had a few weeks of. Uh, fiddling around because um, we put out a very specific model call for, for gals that were willing to, to sign a full model release. Well, um, and they choose to which emotion they're really good at. Yeah. yeah. And they're, they're comfortable with. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and then after that, Brittany talked to all of them and, and realized which ones she wanted to fall into each category. And uh, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a cool, cool progression uh, over well, time. And, oh, and also, that being said... Um, by the time we record the next episode, we should have the the results on the 50 images and where they placed, and uh, we'll put that up on the screen as well, because uh, I'm so excited, because um, the, the last time she, she slapped 40 in, uh, or no, sorry, 50 in, uh, was, was, I think you, you had one in the, the top 10%, right? That was my highest. Yeah, her highest was in the top 10%, but there was only one. And uh, uh, next week we'll know what where all 50 of them sat. And uh, I'm, I'm so excited for that. <laughs> I know I've grown since. No, oh, abso absolutely. Um, <clears throat> and then they... Uh, just the emotions. Well, yeah rolling through how to how to portray each of the um, five plus one um, <laughs> emotions from before um, no it's gonna be good but anywho let's roll into our second round of TikToks and then I think we are about out of time so these ones are from me can you show me the squishy dance <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> 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 that thing is the one taken down! Folded is the, the term that I like to use. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was just trying to squishy dance, man. He was just trying to squishy dance. So, yeah, that was that was one that I wanted to save because we've got a boy named Squish. Well, named Nicholas, but he's Squish. And, uh, yeah, she, she finds innate joy in children being hurt but not hurt if that makes sense not actually hurt yeah that's what I said if this ain't what my marriage is like when we get older then I don't want it <laughs> I'll put you down <laughs> 
No, look here, darling. I ain't your darling. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, that, was a, that was a pretty good one. Other than that, I think that's the end of episode 7. Uh, with like booze and gross shit and uh, the most, uh, you know, fucks. Uh, we've had an episode. Or if it's alcohol induced. Probably. Alright. Have a wonderful whatever the rest of the time is that you're watching this. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>